Hello dear students and uh, respected teachers. I am back to support you. Today I am presenting 10th standard revised syllabus in social science worksheets. For the entire year I present worksheets the most expected or most likely questions with answers I provide you. Make use of this. It will definitely help you to understand the concepts and score very good marks. In this presentation, I have taken the lesson number one and two, geographical position and physical features and India, the climate. These two lessons are taken and most likely questions of these two chapters are presented with the answers. Make use of this. All the best. Social Science Geography Unit number one and two. Worksheet number one. So here, as I said, the first two lessons are taken. Write a sentence on the following. I have taken about seven different points here from both the lessons. The first one is Trans Himalaya. What is Trans Himalaya? The mountain ranges that lies to the north of Greater Himalaya is called Trans Himalaya. The range of fold mountains lying to the north of Greater Himalaya, that is Himadri. So this range is called Trans Himalaya. In this range, we have K2, that is Karakoram range, Ladakh Plateau and Kailash range. In this Kailash range, river Sindhu takes its birth and in K2 Karakoram, you have India's highest peak, that is K2 or Godwin Austin. Second one, 82.5 degree east longitude. This is also the most expected one. It is the standard meridian of India. India's local time is based on it. It passes near Prayagraj, Allahabad in Uttar Pradesh. Allahabad's, the present name is Prayagraj. This imaginary line passes at 82 and a half degree and India's standard time is based on it. Indira Point. Indira Point is the southernmost tip of mainland of India. It is at 6 degree 4 minutes 5 seconds latitude. Formerly it was called Pygmalion Point. Today it is called Indira Point. It is in the Greater Nicobar Islands. Mausin Ram. Mausin Ram is in Meghalaya. It is the highest receiver of rainfall in India. It receives 1148 centimeters of rainfall. Ganganagar. Ganganagar is in Rajasthan. It is the highest recorded temperature that is 52 degrees Celsius. Roily. Roily is in Jaisalmer district in Rajasthan. It is the least receiver of rainfall in India. Coffee blossoms. Coffee blossoms is the name given to rainfall in summer in Karnataka. Similarly, you need to concentrate on Andes of Uttar Pradesh, Kalabaisaki of West Bengal, and Mango Showers of Kerala. These are all the names given to pre monsoon showers. Now we are in the second main. Draw a map of India and locate the following. 82 and a half degree east longitude, Indira point, 23.5 degree north latitude, 
Mumbai, Vishakapatnam, Chennai. Number one, 82 and half degree. You can see here at the right side, you have the map of India and there is a line, vertical line, blue line and an arrow mark. This passes near Allahabad, that is Prayagraj. Secondly, Indira Point, there is a red color, red dot here in Greater Nicobar Island and arrow mark showing there that is Indira point and now you have got one more location 23.5 degree north latitude that is tropic of cancer an arrow mark is showing there this line divides india into two equal parts mumbai the red dot on the western coast of india showing an arrow mark towards it is mumbai Vishakapatnam on the eastern coast of India. Chennai. Chennai is here in the eastern coast of India. So all these places you need to learn and these are few very important one most repeatedly asked. Now we have few question answers. Mention the neighboring countries of India. Very easy. India shares its land frontiers with Afghanistan and Pakistan, and they are in the northwest. China, Nepal, and Bhutan, they are in the north. Mausindram and Bangladesh in the east. Sri Lanka is to the south, and Maldives in the southwest. These are neighboring countries of India. Second question, mention the geographical extent of India. India extends from 8 degree 4 minutes to 37 degree 6 minutes in the north latitude and also from 68 degree 7 minutes east to 97 degree 2 minutes 5 seconds east longitude. What are the importance of Himalaya? The Himalayan mountains have influenced the life of Indians to greater extent. Himalayas provide protection to India by obstructing cold winds from Siberian regions. They are the birthplace of many rivers. Himalayas facilitate hydroelectric power generation. They are the home to many types of plants and animals. They are a great treasure house of minerals. They are also significant for tourism and religious centers. Mention the peaks of Himadri, Mount Everest and in the Trans Himalaya we have K2, Kanchanajunga, Dhaulagiri, Nanda Devi, Gauri Shankara. The next question What are the advantages of North Indian Plain? North Indian Plain is formed by the deposition of alluvial soils by the rivers. The land is flat, hence it supports for the easy transportation and laying of railway line and making of roadways. Alluvial soil helps the agricultural activity. List out the ports of western coast of India. So the ports are given in order from top to bottom that is from northern part of western coastal line to southern part of western coastal line. Kandla, Mumbai, Marmukova, Karwar, New Mangalore and Cochin.
differentiate the western and eastern guards western guards are continuous and higher and they are closer to sea the eastern guards are not very high or continuous because they are separated by river valleys formed by godavari krishna and kaveri what are the importance of plateau of peninsula the plateau of peninsula has got great economic importance it has rich deposit of minerals many rivers have formed waterfalls and it is suitable for the production of hydroelectricity why do we have high temperature in summer the sun rays are perpendicular in the northern hemisphere hence the temperature will be high mention the two branches of southwest monsoons arabian sea branch and bay of bengal branch are the two branches of southwest monsoons which factors decide climate of a place latitude height from the sea level distance from the sea direction of winds mountain ranges and ocean currents write any two examples of high rainfall places in india the western side of western ghats assam and other northeastern parts of india andaman and nicobar islands and even the foot of himalaya receive high rainfall write any four hill stations of himachal shimla mussoori nainital raniket chakrada and darjeeling are the hill stations of himachal dear students these are all very important and easy most likely questions for fas and even for the board exams therefore you will have to listen to this once or twice learn them properly practice all these okay write and practice i wish you all the best keep watching sp sir's online learning youtube channel all the best